Hi, this is Gavin from CamelHosting.com and what I plan to do in this video is show you how easy it is to access your Windows VPS using your home PC, whether it be Windows XP, Windows 7 or Windows Vista. Generally you use the same program to actually connect to your Windows VPS and that is Remote Desktop Connection. Now to get Remote Desktop Connection to work you need three bits of information. You need to know the IP address of your VPS, the username and password and these will generally have been sent to you by your hosting provider when you first signed up. So Remote Desktop Connection is is installed by default on XP, Windows 7 and uh, Vista machines. So to find it, it's easy enough because I've already used it so it's actually stayed in my start menu and it even remembers the last IP address. Generally if you go into your All Programs and Accessories you can see that it's sitting there. Now because it's all different in the where, where it's kept in the sort of start menu and all the different systems, probably the easiest way is if you go into search programs or in Windows XP it would be start run and just type in STSC. As you can see it appears there. If it was Windows XP you just type MSTSC and hit run. And if I hit N hit on that you can see remote desktop connection starts up. There's a couple of options that are useful for you here. If you look under local resources, if you're wanting to be able to copy stuff from your home PC up to your VPS, such as programs you want to install, if you go to more and make sure that the drive where your program is stored on your local PC, whether it's your C drive or it will give you a list of all the drives that you have or whether it's on a USB stick and you plug it in later, it will just give you a list of ones you want to do there. Um, other thing you've got to look at is experience, generally I just keep it at 2 megs to 10 megs because uh, I don't really want to see a desktop background being dragged down over the network, it just might slow it down um, but it's worth just ensuring that you've done that. So once you've done that you click connect. Now it's remembered who I'm logged on as this PC is so generally you have to use another account and type in the username your hosting provider gave you and then the password hit enter or ok and there you go you connect into your VPS and you see it just pretty much looks like a desktop that you'd have at home and that is pretty much you've got to think about it, you're just accessing as you would any desktop this program will generally start up server manager in your VPS and you can just shut it down um, I'll just show you, you, got, you st uh, this, uh, because we selected them you can have the local drives are available so if I wanted to copy some from my Windows PC say I've got this dummy folder called upload with a test if I just wanted to copy that up into my VPS server I can just drag and drop it and as you see there it is there now so pretty nice and simple for you to copy programs up onto your VPS um, another thing you got to be aware of for when you actually want to stop or disconnect your VPS, if you've got programs running in it, um, if you do start log off, generally a lot of these programs will shut down. So what you actually want to do is disconnect from the session. You do that by clicking that button, just to show you how this works. So if I just start up Notepad and type in, say, still here. Now if I did start log off, this would just basically shut down notepad and just lock, shut everything down. If I click that red, that blue X up there, click close, and it says your programs will continue to run while you're disconnected. You can reconnect to the session later on by logging again. Okay, excellent. So I click been disconnected. Now if I want to go back on, remote desktop connection, IP address, it's remembered my username. And there we have it, we've still got Notepad is still there. Uh, I hope you found this informative. Uh, we'll be adding to these videos how to use your Windows VPS and install programs as we go along. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.